Hello, everyone. It's Orca. So, it is past 3 a.m. where I am right now. And I literally woke up out of my sleep. I have been feeling very disgruntled with this game. Um, in terms of just not being able to, or at least my perception of not being able to retain the lessons I learn for a lasting amount of time, not having them be ingrained in me. Um, it's been a point of frustration for me um, recently. And I've been watching a lot of uh, Ink University videos. If you haven't checked out Ink University, it's a channel that talked about uh, Chuck O'Farro, a top JP player, would uh, talk about his games and talk about his thought process through this. And I don't know, I've just been thinking a lot and I, I can't go to sleep because I'm just thinking about the game so much. Anyway, I, I'll talk about this later. trying to focus on this session is how am I dying in what situation am I dying? I've been listening to a lot of Trevor Flair's lessons on how to approach this game, how to approach enemy ink. trying to take these lessons to heart in terms of just even playing how do I play around enemy ink one of the lessons that he was talking about was just like think about the color of the ink that you're in is being their turf versus our turf right I have no ink. That's ink management problem there. I, I forced that situation now in a bad situation here. I should not have forced that. I should have just let the super jump happen. Recover my ink. Where where were they? Again, I did see them and I just I I saw that the umbrella was there, but I just didn't respect that. Again, here now. They use high ground to to win that fight against me. I should have. So these are these are ideas that I'm just thinking about as I'm playing. I'm like, how am I dying? How could I have not died in this situation? You know. trying to stay alive here. That's really all I'm focusing on a lot is just staying alive as much as I can and like trying to trying to respect their ink. And 
I, you know, it's hard because I'm trying. <laughs> like, it feels like right now, no matter how much I respect the ink, uh, like, I'm getting pushed back further and further. And I think. So, this is an observation. You know, I think it's a good observation. stomach is really hurting me right now um anyway Choco Pero is a top 50 player back in Splatoon 2 known for climbing to the top of X rank with multiple multiple weapons of all different classes different kinds very good player and um some of the lessons that he's he says in his videos, I just really am trying to start implementing. I think one of my biggest problems that I've been facing is that I just don't respect the boundaries of other of like the enemy ink, and I'm really trying to learn how to respect that in a way that I stay alive. I don't know, in a way that I can still add pressure. And, but just not die. I'm trying to increase my survivability. That game there, I died eight times. Sometimes the curling bomb, sometimes the 52 gal. I could not get out the base a lot. Um, sometimes the Hydra. I'm just trying to keep track of the times I'm dying. How do I die? Like, why do I die there? Is it because of a lack of awareness? Is it because I got flanked? Is it because... I didn't, I, you know, there was a time there I died because I didn't manage my ink well. In fact, if I managed my ink well, I could have probably, we probably would have won the game, honestly. We were in a good position to continue pushing. I should have just given up the ground there and made sure that my ink was good. Um, anyway, I'm very curious to see, you know, when I get curious like this, I can't help but play. Like, I know that I should be sleeping now. I know it. I'm very tired. I literally was in bed. Literally woke up. Um, just to play. But because my mind could not stop racing about this game. And I don't necessarily like that. <laughs> I'd much rather go to sleep now. I'd much rather be sleeping if I'm being honest. I don't want to be up right now. But my mind just won't shut up. It just won't. It will not shut up. So, I... Here I am. Anyway, another thing that um, I have to start thinking about is... Weapon builds. Like, I see that the splat roller has ninja squid. There's a couple of them rolling out to the right there. I'm not chasing that. It's unsafe to chase that. See if I can route this differently. Okay, two v one. Ah, uh, see, this is like another one of those situations where there's someone sharking on the other side. Of it. Yeah, there's someone behind. I don't know where they went. I'm just trying to stay aware of these things. So the splat roller, they're going to try Oh! oh it's scary. Oh, nice. I have to get back and just get my ink reverse back. Make sure that this portion here is painted for us. Oh, they have splash down. Someone's going to be there on the left here. I'll just paint this up. I can actually grab this position here. Why they just show themselves to me like that? I'm gonna start pushing up on this left side. I'm just trying to stay moving. 
another reason I knew I had to play tonight is because I knew that if I were to play in this type of mindset, I would be playing well. Okay, see, I pushed that situation a little too much. Again, I should, probably should be focusing more on supporting my team with picks. There, I was trying to paint a little too much. I'm gonna use bombs to try to clear out these areas instead of using using my main weapon. down. We can start taking some ground here. I have enough ink. I'm not going to... Ah! Surprise strikes. I was an awareness issue there. I tried to get as much space as I could. It's really important to take space when you can. Oh, shoot. There's cooler there. I'm not going to die to try strikes again. I have to be careful about this top portion here. Yeah. I, I wanted to put that over. Oh, actually, that was a nice, a nicely placed suction bomb, I guess. Wait. rotate around to the left here. We have a nice space advantage. I want to take advantage of that. Shoots. I knew that someone could have been there. I should have taken the time to check it. That's, that was my fault for it. Okay, just the splat roller. I can just set up a crab. Okay, well. Yeah, so another reason I knew I, I had to play now is because if I'm in this improvement mindset, I know I'm gonna play good. Like I know, even if I, if my mind is working so much right now that like it's kind of impossible for me to play, quote unquote. Well, let me not say impossible. The famous last words, but like, it's gonna be pretty hard for me to play bad. Okay, three deaths. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. That means I'm actually like paying attention. That's what I'm really trying to do here is I'm trying to pay attention to things. <laughs> I'm trying not to die to dumb stuff and actually support my team. That These are good numbers. Obviously, like there is some, like I'm really glad how we deal with the roller. I'm really glad how I played defensively and was always moving. There were the times I died that the one of the times I died was, um, a lack of awareness of tri strikes. One of the times I died was me forcing a situation on the left side of the zone. The third time I can't remember fully. That's kind of the downside of playing late is yes, my brain is super active, but it's also very tired. I can't really remember everything that's happening. Well, then again, like. Even if my brain were active, I probably would not be able to recall, recall every single interaction in the game. But I really like how I played a lot of that. Like, really, really like how I played a lot of that. I didn't even, like... I wasn't doing a whole bunch of crazy turret mode thing. I wasn't doing a whole bunch of that, you know. I was just literally doing this all game. Just this. Painting and then trying to stay in a good position. Just doing this. Trying not to get caught off guard. I, I can probably count on one hand the amount of times I rolled in that game. Like, I wasn't trying to do anything crazy, go for any crazy. Oh, yeah, the third time I died was uh, a lack of awareness. Oh, yes. I remember the third time I died now. If you only die three times, it's not that hard to remember. <laughs> All right. Uh, they have drop roller. The Gooey's has drop roller. Anything else I can... Okay, they're gonna have a lot of splat bombs. I can probably uh, anticipate there's gonna be a splat bomb that comes right in front of this area here. If I just play pretty safe around these splat bombs, don't take too much damage. We are down two. I'm going to actually push back. Oh, mm. I'm gonna try support. Uh, that's 
my fault. Should have uh, known that there was some red there. I'm not jumping again because there's a lot of red ink around this side. I don't know if there's any shark here, especially because I don't. Well, the roller doesn't have any sort of like a. The spider shot is on this left side here. I'm playing super defensive right now. Like, I'm playing this more of an angle. This time I'm gonna play more aggressive and then just... Well, see, no. I gotta play discipline because I'm, I'm experimenting right now. Just a mechanical issue. I had to do that though. The dualies were terrorizing us. There's still so much ink that's their color here. I'm gonna have to use this. mechanically fancy there just so we can like force the situation oh shoot I put that all on the zone okay we're up I have to take advantage of these numbers and really push here Super dead. I should put an ouch there so that someone knows. Okay, we got a flip there. I need to support my teammates more with their fights. We try painting for this octo brush here, this left side here. There's so many freaking bombs. I don't like going on the, the left. I wish that my team played right up before I died. That's actually no, I can take that fight safer. I don't have to take a disadvantageous fight like that if I don't want to. I didn't even want I need to create distance against that dualies. That dualies is really being a pain. It's like I just, Oof. If we can get in control for real, but we keep staggering. Let's see if I can set up anything. Okay, nice. Dooley's is dead. I can roll up with this. Nice fall off. Okay, let's see if I can force some situations here. There's someone, I feel like, on the back side here. Maybe not. There's so much ink on that. And not in the enemy's color on that side. I, okay, now I'm starting to recognize some patterns actually. Shoot, man, I wanted to avoid that. I wanted to avoid that. That's a skill issue there. Okay, we're gonna take the lead here. We just really need to paint this, this side. Yeah, I just noticed that they just keep dropping in this, this little area here. I knew that they didn't have any ink there. That was actually such a smart play on me. That was such a smart play. I don't do plays like that a lot where I'm like, okay, that splatter shot just threw two splat bombs. There's no way that they, can, they have ink. I'm just going to push them here. And it actually worked out. I started realizing they just kept dropping on left side a lot. You know, I think by playing slow, I give myself the opportunity to realize certain things. I think once we started realizing they just kept dropping left, dropping left, dropping left, it gave us the ability to 
counter them like fairly easily and then we really started accelerating at first the, the first half of that game was really hard though i think um we were giving them we were giving laying the splat bomb clear us out from the left side a little too easily also that dualies was a menace but thankfully they used reef slider and they died and then they never came back into the game <laughs> Thankfully, they use a reef slider and they deleted themselves from the game because if they didn't use that reef slider there, just use their main weapon, they probably would have still been a. I don't know, they might have lost that game, honestly. <laughs> that reef slider was a throw. Oh man, my stomach hurts a lot. That's probably another reason why I'm up. But I did some nice kills here. I got some fall off kills. Uh, suction bomb. Well, did I get a suction bomb kill that game? I don't think so. Yeah. I gotta realize how, or wonder how to play uh, around. Um, how many times did I die that game? Eight. Mm, a lot. A lot. A lot of, by the duelies. Two fifty-two gals. A lot of. I just need a paint. If I let the fifty-two gals do what they do, then I think that I can. I'm just gonna actually use this. I'm actually gonna push him here. I need to jump out here if I can. I don't like being in this spot, honestly. No, I'm looking at it. Ah, unfortunate. So that custom is just playing on the far left side. I wonder what I can do to um, counter that. I knew that they were going to drop on me. My aim was just a little off. They were one hit away from dying there. I'm gonna do a pretty risky jump here. Make sure I tear that out too. Anyway, I see that the this custom is just playing on the left side here. I'm gonna... Okay, now it's literally just this weapon here. Okay, that was a delayed wipe. We can. I'm just gonna actually. Oh man, awareness W. Awareness W there. Actually, I'm just gonna. I don't know, I feel like there's someone behind here. I, I don't know why I feel that way, but I just feel. Maybe there's not, actually. I'm glad I, it was a gamble. I saw so much red ink on our side. I was like, I don't know if someone's like there, so I'm gonna paint the zone. It was kind of a gamble for me to 
keep going. I'm sure if I paid closer attention, I would have known that everyone was in front of me, but um, I wasn't paying that close, that close of attention. Um, some good plays there. Died twice. Yeah, I knew that if I were to play now, I'd play well. I just knew it. I just <laughs> because my brain is working. It's not most of the time when I'm playing this game, my brain is just not on. Like it's the sad truth. I I don't know if people believe me when I say like I'm playing bad right now. Like <laughs> a lot of people will think that's like a John or something. Like I really mean I'm, I'm just not playing. <laughs> my brain is just not on. My brain is like super firing right now. I'm like thinking. I'm looking at everything. I'm really paying attention. <laughs> like even then I was like, okay, yeah, this position feels uncomfortable for me to be in. And I knew this Watana wiper could have went up on that wall where I could have gotten pressure from that little gray that they added in the last patch. That's on like either side of the uh, the left and right walls. by the trench. I, I knew that someone could pressure me from there with my crab and just me even having that thought of being uncomfortable in certain situations has been good. They also huge awareness does. Once once I got I knew that someone would come up on that right side on the alley. Huge. That's huge. Yeah. I don't <laughs> I have to congratulate myself honestly. Okay. I, this time, I my brain was off when I opened up, so I'm actually going to play it slow while I gather some information here. Okay. There's a curling bomb weapon. Yeah, the roller is right there. I should have backed up immediately as soon as I saw that the roller was there. I tried to... This jump should be safe. That was... How could I not have died there? Yeah, I still haven't gathered as much information as I need here yet. I need to think a little bit more. That is a Hydra, flatly. to go for something like that. I didn't have to. I probably should have just kept focusing the splat roller. Let me... Let me just try adding some pressure here. I think there's a second person there. Okay, they died as well. We are up. We have to use this time to make sure that we push up. I'm actually going to go super far right. Ah, there's cooler. Where's the cooler? I heard the cooler back here. This cooler is wasting me so much time. Okay. Come on. I, that was my fault. That was my fault. That was my fault. There's two left. That was just really unfortunate. I'm gonna have to keep jumping in. No, I don't. I don't have to keep jumping in, Orca. You can do something else with your life. You know what? Let me just start chucking bombs on this area here so they don't take more space than necessary. died twice in a row, that was bad on me. They probably see me come up this way. Had to go for something there. Oh my 
my god. Have to crab immediately. Thank goodness for that flat roller doing that. This flat roller is just coming up. We lost control. We lost control again. I, well, I stayed really calm, cool, and collected that game. What a comeback. <laughs> what a comeback. What an actual comeback. That's so coded honestly like what changed I mean I had to start taking risks I'm glad I started taking risks when I did like that was big that was very big what can I have done better though man I was dying some unfortunate ways that game there was some time there was some fights that I could have focused on more I think like to definitely get rid of the roller. I just let the roller have free reign sometimes when and just expecting my teammates to be able to deal with them when I should have definitely been the one to do so um, or to help deal with them by just creating a different angle on them, you know? Um, man, yeah, we really locked in at the end of that there. Love to see it. Yeah, but at the very beginning of that game, I, my awareness was down. Like I wasn't, I wasn't disciplined enough to like look at the bills, to look at what weapons I was up against. I didn't know what I was actually getting into. It took me about a minute to start understanding what the situation was, and that's like way too long. Um, it's really important at the very beginning of the game to take in as much information as you can. Like every single game, if you're not doing that, then you're really throwing, honestly. Like, yeah, it's such, it's an understatement. I can't state that enough. Like, if you're not paying attention to your comp, your enemy comp, like here, okay, I see that we're, there's some aggressive weapons in the back line. Um, we have the more aggressive comp, but then I have to be careful about uh, that paintbrush, that splash, they have ninja squid. Like, I can expect... Why Why did I do that? I was actually going to try... Uh, you know what? This is bad. I'm still going to go for it. Okay, we're up now. Have to take advantages like these. And Space. I'll give that up. Okay, that should be ending soon. Actually, uh, I read that, but I, I should have painted that right because I saw them coming up and I should have just double rolled back. I should have, uh. Okay, that was a little undisciplined by me. Okay, now there are people who are flanking on that left side. Let me see if I can. Create some situation here. Okay, 
Yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to really support my teammates' fight. Ugh. That's the situation where my aim should needed to be on. I can jump to this person, hopefully. I'm gonna try to set up. We have so much ink in their color, man. Like, this is really scary. Ugh. There's so much ink in their color. I'm trying really... In situations like those, I don't. I could have played safer though. Like, like granted, I could have played safer than I did. Um, so, at the end of the day, it is my fault. But like, when I'm in situations when there's so much ink in the enemy team's color, I don't know where to. I guess that means I have to play just super duper safe. You know, like. I think there's a better way for me to play that though, where I don't. I don't know, man. Like, I feel like there was a better way for me to play that. At the very beginning of the game, I don't know what that opening was. I don't know why I went for that. That was like a big misstep on my part. I should have been more careful. I mean, I don't mind going for a play at the beginning of the game, but I'd rather them come to me unless I have like a surefire kill, especially because the pain brush was there and I could have just died. I, that, that was such a, a low, um, EV play. Expected value play. Has very low expected value there, and I, I just still went for it. That's, uh, you know, I am glad that I was at least able to recognize the, you know, what I was playing against, who I had on my team at the very beginning of the game, but then I didn't use that information to actually inform how I wanted to go about the game. So let me think right now, while I have the time, what could I have done better there in terms of like, how should I have opened against this type of comp? Now, again, in this comp, just like I think two comps ago, yeah, two comps ago, virtually the same comp in which I didn't have to be as aggressive as I needed to, as, like I was, because there's two other very aggressive weapons on my team. I could have just focused more on painting. I mean, depending, like I could have given them the chance. I'd rather like in the X-Rank game specifically, since it's not comp, I can, the, the number one thing I need to prioritize is my life. Number one thing I need to prioritize. There's two Ninja Squid users. They have very aggressive weapons. The tent's gonna be a problem to deal with. They're fast. Really, 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 really. What can you do there? What can you do there? Oh my god. I literally was looking for exactly that situation and I just got called out for it. So that's... Look, at least I was... Oh no, this roller's effing this up, man. Okay, I deal with the roller. Ah, I didn't mean to drop here. Shoot, man. Okay, well, technical flub is not bad. Ah, I wanted to jump to them before. Now I have to play it safe. Just chuck bombs over this area. Oh, I didn't have any roll there. I'm so happy I didn't die. I'm gonna stagger this crab here. There's a lot of ink on the blue. I knew it. Need to really be careful of staying on these top like little lips of the mid. I need to stay, I need to be careful of that actually. I've been dying there specifically a lot. So that's like, 
one of the data points that I've been trying to get is like, how can I take easier fights? Just like that fight I literally just took. Nice. I, I need to push this. I know that. Uh, I'm just gonna assume that they dealt with whomever is back there. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? I'm just gonna hold this position. I'm just gonna trust my team that they're gonna deal with something. They're gonna have to t take me off of this. I'm just gonna jump out if I can. Uh, really? I was unlucky. Well, I mean, it was a decision point I made. I'm, I'm fine with how it turned out. I should have. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew it. I saw the ink before. That was a good shark, but dang, I actually saw them before. I just didn't trust it. I just didn't trust it. That's the best way I can describe it. Then we stay. Okay, the roller is dead, so I can. Shoot, I messed that up. Okay, my teammates can clean it up, though. Ooh, there's only one of us. Ooh, I gotta jump in here. This is bad. I should have rolled again. That same situation happened. Okay. I'm glad I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, like, my brain is turning. That same thing where they, like, I don't know, know if you guys remember, it happened two games ago where literally I just needed to make sure that this little part here was painted. Be careful of the edges. Let me check my map here. There's a lot of blue ink on the right side. That was super risk, like super aggressive of me. Ah, uh, come on. Will they die or will they live? They will die because they are not respecting the roller. And I'm also not. <laughs> I'm just gonna go all the way around. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm going for it. I'm actually gonna go for it this time, I think. Okay, it didn't work out. I went in there with zero information, it was just a gamble. Okay, time for me to not. Ah, oh, shoot, this is bad. Took too many gambles that game. I think there's a way that I play that where I don't gamble and I win. Ugh. What was I thinking there? Um, gotta cut off those paint paths. Those small little paint paths where they can like just swim up to you. Gotta make sure those are taken care of. Also, just being careful about the those lips of this like the the high parts of mid left and right mid died way too many times there i didn't have to die i did not have to die that many times i was just not playing as good as i could have been i'm starting to see some diminishing returns in terms of my focus so um I'm gonna see if I can play a couple more, but uh, I, I don't know. My, my brain might have already reached this peak. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll, we'll see. We'll see based on the next game. Um, I am learning some stuff though. Like I'm learning how to play certain stages and take fight, better fights, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like fight in good positions and like not take bad fights. That's that's what I'm trying to do. Play more survival focused. 
I like some of the wrists I took, especially that wrist I took to, to just stay on their side. Uh, in retrospect, you know, like maybe it would have been better if I just helped my team deal with whatever they were dealing with. Especially since like they kind of took care of me very easily. Like I, I wasn't creating that much of a distraction for them. If I got my crab set up, then, you know, maybe, but like, you know, I, I should have fallen back and jumped out, you know? Just hoping that my team could have done something with that, but, you know, sometimes you just, it, it could have worked out, it could have been great, you know, it's like a, it was a, definitely a gamble, but I need to take less of those so I can win more consistently. Less gambles, more just consistent, solid play. Okay, um, we have, they have Squeezer on their side, which means that even rolling out to the right might be inherently risky. I'm going to try to throw a suction bomb right there so the Squeezer doesn't feel like they can just come right there. Oh, again, I'm going to throw another. Really? 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 Hmm. There's a lot of... Why can they just swim up like that? I hate that. I hate that so much. Why can they do that? Like, I, even when I try cutting them off, like, how does that work? I need to understand the physics of, like, how does this game handle those types of situations? When I see that they're trying to swim up to me, I try cutting off their path. Like, why are they still able to swim up to me? That thing real that just pisses me off. <laughs> okay. Like, I feel like they shouldn't be able to swim up to me. I'm gonna just heal up. There's so much ink on me. There's so much blue ink here. How to get around, man? This is a thing with ink. It's like so freaking good to kill it. <sighs> Can we do it? Bro, I'm really trying so hard to be careful with ink. There's only so careful you can be, but I think... Man, there was some stuff that made me upset that game, honestly. Like, the fact that the squeezer could just swim through my ink and then just come up to my face, it, it was really upsetting. Especially when I was specifically trying to stop them from doing exactly that. <laughs> like by painting over that, it just wouldn't work. It just wouldn't work. I just kept trying to paint. <laughs> nah, I have to test that situation more because that doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it should work. I feel like if I'm just shooting the ground where they're coming, they shouldn't just be able to swim right through that. Like. How does that make sense? I don't know, man. Like, but it is something that, you know, if I do find that it is actually impossible for me to paint their feet so that they can't, like, just willy-nilly swim up to me, then, like, uh, I can use that tactic for myself. So either way, it's something I learned, I guess. Yeah, that was an upsetting game. Okay, I gotta die less this game. I gotta die less. There's some aggressive weapons. We have a little bit less paint than they do. Or a lot less paint. That's 
got a couple hits on him. Gosh. Oh, I see what's happening here. I'm not paying attention enough to like the fights that my teammates are taking. Okay, wall string is down. Nice. We need to push here. I can't believe I didn't get them. I'm just gonna try paying around here. Making sure that I don't know where the Hydra is. I'm really close to the crab tank. I'm actually gonna use it right now. I should have given up more ground there. I, I was forced in that situation too much. Also, focus on, on painting too much. Painting the zone. That was the same mistake I made like six games ago or something like that. This is a situation I don't like being in. Yeah. There's so much ink there, side. I don't know where to even hit. Again, I'm just trying to, I was really trying to just cap there, which I can't focus on capping, I need to focus on getting these kills. It's okay if we lose the lead, it's okay. Okay, I got two good picks there, we sh never mind, we're not gonna get anything. <laughs> Uh, now I have to go for desperation plays. That's what happened when you just, it was we were stubborn to give up the ground. We just didn't want to give it up to them when we, we all died because of that. And then we never got back in the game, ever. And that's our fault. Um, have to give up the ground, have to give up that space. Really annoying way to lose, but you know, it's our fault, so. Uh, seems like I'm getting diminishing returns on my attention though, like I... I'm, it's always a question to me as whether or not I should like just stop playing completely or should I just keep playing? Like if I stop playing, will I retain anything? Or do I need to keep trying to like... Even if I feel like I'm getting diminishing returns on... I don't know. I, it's... Maybe the only way I would know is if I tried both things, both ways. Alright, we are down. I am backing up. I'm giving them the ground. Okay, 
okay. swim up it. I just wanted to swim to the side. Freak. Okay. This is a bad jump. This is a bad jump. Uh, I knew that. Why are they all in the pit? <laughs> what the... What in the world? I hate being around this much enemy ink. I hate it so much. This. I didn't aim well. It's okay. There's someone over here. Oh my god. That was... Okay. What do you do about that? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> I don't freaking know, man. I don't know where the brush is. Okay, so there. Oh, what? <laughs> Why? There's too much ink. I can't make decisions based on this, man. I'm trying to play carefully here. There's literally just too much freaking ink I have to deal with. Freak, man. They're gonna kill my teammate. Whatever. <laughs> Ugh. I am trying. Dude, we can't stabilize. That's the problem here. Is that we just can't freaking stabilize. Okay, what do we do when we can't stabilize is the question. This freaking ink brush, you're annoying as hell. I'm pissing me off. This freaking ink brush, bro. Okay, we got the ink brush. I can do that. Just keep the ink brush out the game. Live. Live. Please get this crab set up. Please be able to get this crab set up.
<gasps> no. 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 Freak, man. Freaking ink brush, bro. That thing was so annoying. That was an annoying. That was an annoying ink rush. I kept trying to keep it out of the game. It just. Oh, that ink rush was so annoying to me, man. Something I always try to keep in mind is that you cannot roll when there's a whale on you. Like, you can't do this because you're just stuck here and the whale kills you by the time that you are able to move. Like that, that amount of lag is like just too much. So anytime that I'm dealing against a whale, I just try to like actually swim and move and jump like this. Use my turret mode, jump over it, whatever. Like. And it was my fault for, um, for rolling. I probably would have been able to kill the ink brush if I didn't roll, because the ink brush was not focused on me at all. It was focused on getting the zone, and um, I should have punished that. But the only way I could have punished that is if I did not roll. They killer whaled me, and I rolled, and I died, and that's my fault. Against the, the ink brush again. Hopefully, we can get some retribution here. I'm definitely gonna try to make sure it has the least amount of ink packs on the game as possible. They're coming up on this left side here. I play that opening too slow. This is not enough pressure. We need to apply more freaking pressure, yo. No slow rollouts. None of this, yo. Like, I'm tired of it. Where is the pressure? <laughs> There's nothing. Oh my god. Where is the pressure? I'm really upset now. I'm actually mad. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> I tried everything I could. I tried. I tried.
I tried so hard. I tried so freaking hard. I did not want to lose that damn brush again. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that game was doomed. It was a doomed game, yo. I it was nothing I can do there. I just gotta accept it as there was no way I was winning that game. <laughs> there was just zero percent chance I was, I was gonna win that game, yo. Like a zero percent chance. I mean, the only other chance is if I am literally playing like a god. gal has no one's gonna boo y'all back okay i see what type of group this is it must be east coasters okay we're down in numbers i'm gonna try to at least paint for I was a little too stubborn there, that's why I died. I should have. When I get really close to crab, I, I tend to become more stubborn, and I think that's the one I really need to make a judgment call to. I don't know. It's, it's a really hard calculation to make. Shoot, man. That was too slow. No, please don't die. Swim back. Nice. <laughs> you saved your life there, Orca. Just live. I messed that up royally. They're taking a one on one. They won it, though, thankfully. 
they're gonna be rushing to the zone like it's bad paint here. Ah, <sighs> dude. What's happening is that I am wasting a lot of time painting because I'm not focusing too much on enemy positions, like where they are at all times. Um, on the Umami, I can track them. Like, I should be able to track them so that way I don't have to spend as much time painting. Right now, I'm like so focused on paint that, I mean, there's nothing. Like, I'm trying to see what the line is, how much I should be focusing on painting versus just killing them but then some, for the few games that I've lost not few I've lost a lot of games am I talking about but like for the games I've lost um, it feels like I just can't outpaint them which means I should probably just be focusing more on concerted picks um, that's another skill that I need to work on just truly fighting with my team. I think the very first games I was playing, I was really able to take the same fights that my team was taking, but uh, I haven't been doing that consistently. I'm gonna try to add that data point or add that focus point this game. Um, okay, it's the bow with the roof slider. Oh, nice. West Coasters. Beautiful. <laughs> they're going to be someone who... I got back up here. This is not safe. I, sh I heard... I know. Okay. I know how to adjust. It's okay. Okay, we are up one. I have to push in. Make something of this number. something of that. Actually, I can go for a shark here. They don't know where I am. I'm actually going to set up a shark on them. careful and when I'm on their turf again back up here set crab from a safer spot that's a better crab there I didn't try to force it where is that coming from I can push in with these bombs where is it I thought I think I saw Have chased me. All right, nice. I play that much better. I play that so much better, man. Like, how come I can't play like that all the time? Is it because? I wasn't faced against a lot of long range. I feel like the, the problem I'm facing is probably that I'm... I suck when there's a long range weapon in the enemy comp. If it's just short range weapons, I can... Like, there was nothing that was pressuring me from long range there, so... It didn't feel hard. I think that's what's happening is... Like, long range comps are challenging me. Let me let me see if that's true or not. I'm gonna look back at the matches I lost and see. Cause on the enemy team there, no long range. On the enemy team here, no super long range. On the enemy team here, uh, 
Uh, not uh, super long range. No super long range there. And we seem here. Dowser Dulies. And we seem here. Hydra. Wellspring. Pencil. Hydra. Squeezer. Nothing here. Roller. Hydra. Hmm, maybe I have a problem with dealing with uh, the long range stuff. East Coasters on this team. Okay, the the 52 is probably on the right side. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna keep pushing this. Actually, I thought I could get that. Um, it was just me testing my limits there. I'm, no, I, I want to jump to you. I'm going to help my team here. Wasted a lot of time that way. I should have also went around the corner too eagerly. I, I didn't know, have perfect information. If I don't have perfect information, like for instance, there's only two of them on this, the team right now. One of them's to the right, and one of them's right here in front of me. Okay, now I no longer have perfect information other than that. Okay, now I have perfect information in terms of there's one to the left here. I should be able to get them. Okay. That was imperfect information. I should have looked for the shark behind that or known that there potentially was a shark behind there. Two of them were down on the left. There's one on the right. There's one camp in my jump. Uh, we are down by one, even though we might be effectively up. So I think I can still push this situation here. Really nice kill right there. Oh, no. That was... I got lucky. Oh, I got lucky. <laughs> I got even more lucky. Are there any more beacons I need to be aware of? Really? Oh, well, that's fair, I guess. Just hoping that they'll push through mid. Okay. Nice whale. Okay, what's the information I don't have here? I only know where the Galugas is. I don't know where anything else is. Okay, now I now know where the 52 is as well. 52 is on me. I can say this one is. Ah, shoot, man. Yeah, take easier fights, Orca. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Take the easy fights. <laughs> yes. Take easy fights, yo. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Take the easy fights, Orca. Stop killing yourself taking all these hard fights, man. Like, stop trying to out maneuver, out mechanic, out everything, though, yo. Like, just play solid. 
play solid, yo. That's how you do it. Again, no long range on that. Man, I took the easy fights. <laughs> I surely took the easy fights. I just took a 2v1 is the opportunistic, the high ground, like I, I took some really solid, solid fights there. Like I like when I'm, I like when I'm calling out the information I currently have. Like I, I've never done that before, <laughs> but it actually really helped. I took different angles from my, oh man, that game was so good. <laughs> I that was probably my favorite game thus far. Okay, against 52. There's nothing crazy on their side that they're running. Other than Thermal Ink, what? Thermal Ink, Reef Slider. I mean, Thermal Ink, uh, Dreadringer. <laughs> Easy fight. This is hard fight, hard fight, hard fight. <laughs> hard fight. Easy fight. Nice. Okay, yeah, we can paint up here. Nice free slider in terms of like. Yes, I'm actively looking for... Okay, what information do I have? There's one on top mid. Did they just die? No. Shoot, man. I'm about to... I'm in a bad spot. I'm not forcing anything. I'm not forcing anything. I'm not forcing anything. I'm just gonna chuck bombs. I'm not forcing anything. I'm not forcing anything. I'm not forcing anything. <laughs> okay. God, I'm playing so freaking well now, man. <sighs> I didn't force anything, and it worked out. Is this the best rotation I've ever played? I mean, granted, I it can't be because... <laughs> Maybe, actually, let me think about this. Okay, last season I peaked at 2485. Right now, I am in the 1600s. This much is true. However, have I ever played this well before? Ever? Have I? I don't... 
I don't think I have. <laughs> I don't. I honest, honestly, I truly don't think I have. But this only on the umami. On flounder is still a different story. That that stage is still weird. Too many var like not too many variables. Like more variables is always good, I guess. But umami is like so simplified. I can I can manage to like think. I can get clearer information at all times, or always have clearer information that will inform my decisions. All right, so E leader. Let's see if I can win against the long range comp. Also, the comps are very similar. Um, there's two dualies on their side, just one and parry. Oh wait, uh, there, that's the E leader. Where? Really? Ah, uh, got unlucky there. They have beacon as well. Is that leader with the beacon? Yes. Does our leader have beacon? No, it has a wave breaker. And uh, ink mine. Ah, I love how I took that fight. I love it. I'm just gonna crab him. I am gonna wait for the Kraken to finish before I crab. <laughs> Why did I do this? That was so dumb. That was probably the dumbest play I could have made, honestly. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking would happen there. I <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. I know, I... No. <laughs> Go to the other side. I wanted to use crab. It's so hard to get in a position to use crab when there's E-leader that's just staring at you from their snipe. There's one here, isn't there? Routing was really good. <laughs> this is, I'm gonna die. Can't cap? What's, what's what's happening? Oh shoot! I don't know where they are. They're behind me.
should die. They did not die. Oh man, here comes the flank. Still can't win against the E-Leader comp. It just makes the decisions I make just that. It makes it really complicated. Like I just, I'm not able to play the way I want to play. Which is a skill issue. I have to learn how to play against that type of comp more efficiently. I guess it's the last game. Um, all right. Well, it's honestly some real highlights there. Some like really, really good games that I think I'm gonna look back at, and um, I feel really proud about. I feel like I actually did something good here. I think I learned something good. Um, so that's going to be it for right now. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy these games. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.